This is Victor King, a 64-year-old landlord from Hartford, Connecticut, who was beheaded by his roommate with a samurai sword after a dispute over the man not paying rent. The story goes like this. King had gone to the police to report threats of violence from his roommate, 42-year-old Jerry David Thompson, who had been apparently waving a sword at him. The next day, the police were asked by concerned friends to check on King. Police and firefighters forced their way into his home, discovering King's decapitated and slashed corpse, surrounded by blood and covered with a sheet on the kitchen floor. They immediately treated the case as a homicide and began looking for Thomas as a suspect and quickly found him on the city's north end. Police took him in for questioning, but Thompson refused to talk, but scribbled on a piece of paper, paper and glove compart in Jeep is all you need. The paperwork in the glove compartment stated that Thompson considered himself a sovereign citizen and thus not subject to U.S. law. However, according to records, Thomas was previously convicted for assault and robbery. According to the FBI, sovereign citizens often use their claim of immunity to commit crimes with impunity. While it isn't illegal to file paperwork claiming to be a sovereign citizen, it can serve as an indicator to police that the person plans on committing a crime. Many times, those claimed to be sovereign citizens use the documents to their advantage in court as it comes up the judicial process. Thompson was arrested and charged with murder and is being held with a $2 million bond. The church next door to where King lived rang its bell 64 times in honor of King, who was 64 years old.